What up, y'all? Shiro Fujioka, a.k.a. Vultures Controller, back with episode number two of Digitone Deconstructed. We're going to continue where we left off in the last episode and add some sound locks and program some rhythmic elements to this composition. So to start off, we're going to add some sounds to our sound pool. Go to Sound, Sound Manager, then we're going to click to the left over to Filter. Then we're gonna click kick, then click the right arrow back to your list, then select some sounds. Now we're gonna to copy to sound pool. All right, right now I'm just adding a few more sounds to the sound pool. I'm gonna add some percussion and um, you know maybe like hi-hats and snares and stuff like that. Okay, so now that we've added all our sounds to the sound pool, let's get started. Actually, I think I'm gonna select the second sequence because the tempo's a little slower. I think 120's a little too fast for our video, so we'll slow it down. Okay, let's start adding our sound locks. Okay, so basically you'll notice there's a lot of empty empty space here to add more um, triggers, so that's what we're gonna start doing. We're gonna add in some triggers, just kind of randomly. Okay, so once you've added some triggers, uh, make sure you're on the trick page and hold the trig and then turn the sound browser encoder and start picking some sounds to add to your sequence. So now that we have our kicks laid down, we're gonna move to the next track and we're gonna add our snares, our percussion, and our hi-hat kind of elements. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna pick our next track and we're gonna kinda look at our sequences and see there's plenty of space here to add more sound locks, so. We're just gonna kinda go through and add some in here. And um, once again, once you add them, hold trig, then um, turn the uh, sound browser encoder and uh, pick some sounds.
All right, I'm kind of feeling that. And um, actually, I think I want to go back and add, add a few more. So let's go and do that. As you can see, there, there's still plenty of space to add some more rhythmic elements. So I figure I'd utilize that space and uh, you know just pick some more sounds. So we got all our rhythmic elements laid down. Let's um, let's go into the composition. See how it all sounds together. that tempo back up to 120 back to the original tempo that we started with and um, let's hear how this sounds let's see I'm just gonna mute all the tracks and um, build this composition up mm -hmm. 